Dude, what are, what you, are doing you doing awake? You are love insane. having you. Are you oh, so, I want to know, Alex, are you just waking up or are you still awake oh, the night before? Point. I want to know what's going on there. We got Brooklyn, New York. We got North Carolina. We got Guam. Guam. Welcome. We have Baltimore. We have Canada. Brooklyn. Brooklyn in the house. Lots of people from Brooklyn. I'm curious, what time is it in Guam? Um, they said it, uh, 110 p.m. 110. on Friday. Oh, Friday. Yep. Yeah. Brett Carlson, my uh, my fellow host on the Gridiron Gamble podcast, uh, calling me a Buffalo trader. Listen, Brett, the Bills, I've never liked the Bills. They do not make me want to shout. Sorry, man. We got Deb watching from Australia, 1.10 p.m. on Friday. Perfect time to watch poker from Australia, she says. Thank you for tuning in, Deb. Ross from Florida, Randy from Texas. People are just from all over, man. This is great. New Jersey, Nigel Smith. I don't, I'm not really a fan of New Jersey. Well, if one states can go, it's New Jersey. Chicago, Illinois, New Zealand. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Incredible. Thank you all for joining me. Katie it. Kelly from Vegas. First person that I've seen from Vegas. Men announces that he's all in. Top pair here. 7-4-3 flop. He's got 10-7. He went 300K from Sai with King 6. Men all in for 3.6 million. Seems ambitious. And uh, Sai gives it up. Joe Mancuso asked, is Simon Lamb good? Well, Joe, he has the chip leader in a World Poker Tour event with 584 entries, so I'm just going to guess yes. I've seen his whole card. seems like he's playing pretty well. That's what I'm going to say to that. Ryan Reese joined, if that's the Ryan Reese, WSB Main Event Champ and World Poker Tour Champion as well. Welcome, Ryan. What's up, Reese the Beast? Welcome. London, Thailand. Hi from Hawaiian Gardens, from the Philippines. Cape Town, South Africa. I'm, I'm starting to wonder if people are just making this up. <laughs> they just want to hear your voice keep going up. <laughs> Cape Town. <laughs> Actually, I'll be heading to uh, Johannesburg uh, later this this season for a WPT Man, event. Man, you get around. Hope you, yeah. hope you, have, hope you say freaking flyer miles. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Right now, the suit that I am wearing... Well, let's, let's finish this hand first with Simon here with a couple jacks. Craig opened it up with just the king of diamonds. Don't know his other card just yet. He made it 300K. Simon, looks like Simon called two jacks. Ace of spades, queen of hearts, five of diamonds on the flop. That's certainly going to throw some caution. It's not really the flop you want to see with, with jacks. Yep. Check from Simon, 300K from Craig. I mean, Simon did show that he's willing to call with not much earlier. He called queen high, so yes. he could certainly stick around here, especially knowing the experience of someone like Craig who's going to take advantage of an ace-queen high flop as a flop that should identify well with uh, his opening range. So we'll see what Simon does here with two jacks. He makes the call. Three of hearts on the turn. Simon checks. Craig goes back into the well. Fire another bullet. 450k this time. Simon decides to give it up. Craig takes it down. You'll we'll never know what that other card was there. Ace oh, King. Ace there King. You there you go. Not only was he representing the ace, he had the ace. Could have been, uh, could have been a double up for for Craig yeah. had Simon elected to three bet that hand pre-flop, yeah. but he did not. Played it a little bit safer, and uh, that's one of the things we've seen too. Yeah, and a little uh, bit of a smaller pot with chip leaders. Sometimes you'll see different styles, but uh, 
sometimes it's about the chips that you save. And Simon is, like we said earlier, playing very methodically and working his way through. Sudbury, Ontario, New York City. Shout out from Madagascar. Kind of think that one's fake. I mean, if there's one that's going <laughs> to be fake, it's Madagascar. Come well, on. Maybe they're at home watching. I don't, think that's I don't know enough trivia to, to ask a question quickly Perfect. without going to Google. Motown, Michigan, London, Thailand again. Love it all, guys. Thanks for following along. Ryan Reese said, go Craig and Jake. Also said, what's up, guys? What's up, Ryan? How you doing? WPT champion, WSOP champion, Ryan Reese in the building in the Skype chat. Her Skype chat, Facebook chat, sorry. Ace nine five flop. Craig here with the queen nine checks. These players have been uh, not showing their cards to the RFID lately. We need to get this figured out. We might need to go out there and talk to these this group of players on the break. Get out, get out there. Down. Ten of clubs on the turn. Part of me does like this though because it forces you to sort of think a little bit more like you're at the table. You only have part of the puzzle. And try to figure out. I try and do as little thinking as possible. So if they could just put the cards up there, that would be great. And, and I was going to say it, not but okay. Work. <laughs> well, let's put it to the chat right now. What what do you think the other card is that uh, Jake has? A jack. I'm going with the jack. Mm -hmm. Check from Craig here. Jack of clubs, you think? Yeah, that's 425k is the bet from Jake. Craig and Jake have been in a couple. Few We're interesting pretty hands. much in the same spot as Craig right now. I mean, Craig's got a pair of nines. Mm -hmm. Could very likely have the best hand, and Jake could just be trying to pick this up. We don't know what Jake has. Right. If Jake just has king high, he could just be trying to steal this pot. He could also be value betting fairly late. Such things as a king 10, king 9. Craig ends up giving it up. Jake folds. The two exchange smiles as they have been. All the final table didn't pick it up that time. You guys are watching the final table of the WPT Gardens $5,000 main event here at the Gardens Casino. We are in Southern California. My name is Donnie Peters. I'm alongside Sam Cariote. 584 entries in this tournament, $5,000 buy-in, top 73 paid, more than $2.9 million in the prize pool. These six guys and Gale have locked up $115,000 in prize money, 565k up top to the winner, plus the winner takes home a Mercedes-Benz SLC Roadster, courtesy of the Gardens Casino. Sam, do you still do you have Twitter, or what's what's the deal? I do. I don't. I used to have Twitter, um, and then I I lost the email address that was assigned to wow, it. Wow, you sound like our commentator Tony Dunst. I know. Who recently got his uh, yeah, Twitter back? He's got a little bit more pull than I do. Okay. So, uh, if you guys want to follow Tony Dunst, Vince Van Patten, Lynn Gilmartin, you can check them all out on Twitter. Tony's handle is at Tony Dunst TV. Jared Griner here with two jacks. He's going all in. Vince Van Patten is uh, Vince Van P underscore WPT, if I remember correctly. And Lynn Gilmartin is just at Lynn Gilmartin. I'm Donnie Peters, at Donnie underscore Peters on Twitter. You can follow me, too. I tweet a lot about sports, not so much about poker these days. And if you want to follow Matt Savage or ask him a at poker Savage question, poker. He will, at Savage Poker, there is a 99.9% .9 chance he will respond to you on Twitter I don't know how Before he does it. Before you finish your tweet. Yes, I don't know how he does it, but Matt Savage. So Jared here is all in for 1.75 million. Craig wakes up with Ace King. He makes the call, or he reshoved to get Jake out of out of the pot from the big blind. We're gonna see a race here. Craig's Ace King off versus Jared's pocket jacks. Jared is the player at risk. He's 56% to win this hand. Ace of spades, right on the flop, followed by the 7-6 of diamonds. Craig takes the lead here, and Jared's on the ropes. 
Turn card, three of spades. Okay, so Jared's going to need a jack. And a jack only. Or he's going to be out in sixth place and taking home $115,000. Yeah, there's another Ace race. Of diamonds on the river will do it. Craig Varnell knocks out Jared Greiner in sixth place. We are down to five in the WPT Gardens main event here at the Gardens Casino in Southern California. Jared Greiner from Utah, 32 years old. He's married. Huntington Beach, California is now where he calls home. He's going to be taking home $115,000 in change for his sixth place finish in this event. Adds that to more than $1.2 million in earnings he had coming into this tournament. This is his second WPT final table experience after he placed third in the WPT LA Poker Classic in season 15 for 430K in that event. Nice run by Jared, nice haul of 115K. I'm sure we will be seeing him again on the World Poker Tour as we do at many of our events. Did that hurt again there, Donnie? The Denver Broncos against that was the New another, England Patriots. That was another Denver versus New England battle. Denver coming out on top. I mean, Denver's not that good anymore. I don't understand why they keep winning. I mean, New England's not going to be that good this year, but either way. Craig, as you said, I mean, it's just he, he stuck around. He stuck around. He didn't get too crazy, although he came in with the shortest stack. He still had plenty of chips to play for, or play with, sorry. And, uh, He's built his way up. Looks like he's up over five million now in yeah. chips. Five players left. And if you've been with the stream here for a while, you're, you're most likely going to see uh, a little bit different style from Craig now that he's got some chips. And and to be honest, I think that's what we were talking about earlier. Where some players they were just they didn't want him to to get chips. Uh, didn't engage with him uh, when he was short in some of the moves that he was making. Uh, but now it's it's going to be a different game. The final five players here are now guaranteed more than $150,000 in prize money in this WPT Gardens $5,000 main event. Mickey Sloman in the chat asking what happened. Said, do we have a classic flip with Jax versus Ace King or something? Yes, we did, Mickey. Jared Graner shoved under the gun with two jacks. Craig Varnell reshoved from the small blind with Ace King. Craig hit an ace on the flop, followed by an ace on the river to finish with trips, and Jared finished as our sixth place finisher, taking home 115,000. We started at 4 p.m. Pacific time, so um, I don't know. In my experience, what's this about four and a half hours now that we've been? Yes, go uh, going just about, about four and a half hours, hours into play, and we are on a 30-minute delay. And we've lost w one player, and that's I think for me the longest it's I've ever seen. But it's better that way. Right, because the I agree. It's I agree. better to stick with six players for as long yes. as possible and then just have it all go crazy at the end versus losing everyone super quick and then the and two heads-up players are 185 forever. big blinds deep each and then you're playing a heads-up match for 17 hours, which is great <laughs> and it's fun if you really like poker, but, you know, there's just a lot more that can go on yes. when there's more players at the table. Looks like Craig Varnell is up to about 5.7 or 5.8 million. He started the final table with the shortest stack at 1.955 million. Still had about 30 to 35 big blinds when we came into play, so he stayed patient at the beginning. He didn't worry about the fact that the other five players had more chips than him because he did have a lot of chips to play with. A couple big folds he made once with those those pocket nines, yes. uh, facing a lot of action in front of him. Again, most recently with those two tens. Yes. And uh, that patience has seemed to have paid off so far. Craig is the second oldest player to make this final table behind Men Win, Men's 63, Craig's 35. Originally from Queens for Mr. Varnell. More than $1.5 million in earnings coming into this event. He's gonna be adding at least 150 k uh, on top of that now. He won a bracelet this year out of the World Series of Poker. He won WPT 500 Las Vegas back in 2015 at Aria. He finished third in the WPT Choctaw main event in season 15, taking home more than $300,000 for that run. Craig is quite the player. 
big time Broncos fan. And I really think that that type of experience, like some of the folds that he made there, um, come into play in this because he's been in these situations before. Uh, players that don't have as much experience might see those as a always I always shove. Um, and it's, it's really good to, to watch him go through. And um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, I just think the more chips he gets and the way that he's going to adapt um, to the dynamic of the play. So, you know, we talked about this earlier where the table was sort of picking on Simon for a while. Craig was in between Simon and Jake, uh, even with the short stack, and made some, some really, you know, good plays, picking the right spots. But that's one thing that I've noticed with Craig, that he's able to sort of tap in and see how players are reacting to different situations. And if they're getting tired, if they're coming back from a break and they're not paying attention, it's, it's one, of, one of the skills that he has. And I think the farther we go into this, we'll, we'll see that come to light. Hi everyone, thanks for your patience. Uh, if you're following us on uh, Facebook with the live stream, you'll notice that the uh, stream went down for a second. We're restarting it. Um, that will show up in the next post. Uh, since we're four hours into the broadcast, uh, in order for us to archive it, that's one of the technical requirements on Facebook. So uh, don't worry, we're still here uh, at the final table. And uh, What is this Facebook? Fix your stuff. Four hours. This is a poker tournament. Took us four hours to lose one player. Simon here with a pair of aces. Top pair on an ace king jack, four board. Jake with second pair, pair of kings. Simon bets 300,000. Simon checks. Simon's going to take it down with the pair of aces.
Curtin's Casino in Southern California. Five players left in the WPT Gardens main event. These five players have guaranteed more than $150,000 in prize money, playing for $565,000 up top. The winner will also take home a brand new Mercedes-Benz SLC Roadster, courtesy of the Gardens Casino. These final five uh, players. Give them the ahead. keys and have them drive it right out tonight. They could. I was told they Party. get that exact car that is in the lobby of the Gardens Casino. So Party I'm not, I'm not sure if they will be able to drive it out tonight. I don't know how this place is built <laughs> in terms of, uh, you know, th these places always have those those doors that open up that you yes. don't know about. Yeah. You know, just like car dealerships, that yes. sort of thing. Um, so I don't know where that is. I don't know if it'll be the front door, if they can just drive it right out. Do a donut there in the <laughs> One of the best the things, tires. by the way, about the Gardens Casino is the valet. Yes. Because it's $2. <laughs> Vegas, it's like 27 depending on where you go. I mean, Vegas has gotten, like, absolutely ridiculous for with with the stuff that they're doing out there. The resort fees, the charging for parking, the massive charges for valet. It, it's just, it's insane. So you heard it here, Donnie. Donnie's saying, avoid Vegas, come here to the gardens. Oh, I wouldn't say avoid Vegas. I love Vegas. <laughs> but certainly come here to the gardens. But also, avoid parking. In avoid Vegas. parking. Yeah, Vegas and that parking thing, man, it's just gotten way out of control. Craig Varnell here, from short stack to second in chips, 5.7 million, 46 big blinds right now. Working his way up the leaderboard. Still got a, still got about three million more to go if he wants to catch Simon Lamb in first place, but Do you Craig think he is knows playing extremely well. That he has the sunglasses on the hat because I haven't seen him use them once today. I think he knows. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think he'd put him there. He seems like a guy who's very aware. Okay. He just does. It's to distract others. Throw them off their game. Simon here under the gun with ace 10 makes it 275k. Men win in the big blind. Two Broadway cards. King queen. He's at least calm. He does make the call. Eight of clubs, four spades, and eight of spades. Next John Men. Simon checks. See the turn. Check, check on an 884 flop. We see the nine of hearts on the turn. Men comes out with a bet. 350k. Simon, they're actually raising men here. Raised to a total of 875,000. You'll see on the scoreboard there, the chip counts are the real time, what chips they have behind them. So it's factored in the bets that have already gone into the pot. on the turn, takes it down. Some tricky aggression from Simon there. Haven't yeah. seen that yet at this final table. He's now up over 10 million in chips, 43% of the chips in play. And we really hadn't seen men make that type of bet on that texture board, you know, earlier today. 
So both both dynamics of those pl players in that hand. Very, so you very saw there Sia, Sia Ono uh, down to 12 big blinds. Yeah. Uh, pretty short. She's been quiet for the last couple couple rounds at the table. So look for her to make a move in these next couple of hands. Just given her chip stack. It can be interesting um, just going back to what Sia said, uh, you know, coming through this event and down to the final table, how she talked about how tournaments seem much more of a pre-flop game and cash games, which are her specialty. Here she is all in with the 7-5 of clubs from the button. You know, is this her weak point, the short stack game? The short stack, you know? right. So it's just going to be interesting to see how it plays out. I think if you asked her, she would tell you that the short stack game might be her weakest point of her game. Um, I think any cash game player would tell you that. Right, because you're not so as deep and you don't have the tools that you normally yeah, would. Totally. Just going to be interesting to see how this plays out here. and If she can do what Craig did and work her way up off the short stack and Absolutely. get back into contention. I see Ari Angle has joined the chat. What's going on, Ari? Welcome. Welcome, Ari. see Ari at several WPT events around the U.S. and around the world for uh, all year long. Ari is the master traveler and he is. He can figure out the right value of where to go and when. Simon here with Queen Deuce makes it 300,000 to go. Craig makes the call with at least the Queen of Diamonds. Don't know his other card just yet. Ace, eight, six, rainbow flop. Simon will be first to act. Simon bets 300,000. Simon bets 300,000. Tricks in a fold. Simon's going to take that down, and we are officially on break right now. The band will be back in about 14 minutes. we get the wave going over here. Where's the peanuts and the Dodger dog? Players will be on a break right now. Simon Lamb in the lead. We will see you guys back here shortly. See you in about 15 minutes. cruise if not you don't know what you're missing this is one of my favorite events of the year we've got great people amazing food and drinks in world-class restaurants stunning destinations and all the poker tournaments and cash games that you can handle plus you get to hang out with me vince and tony on board royal caribbean's liberty of the seas all week long make sure you grab your cabin at wptcruise.com and i'll see you while we're cruising the caribbean Craig here, King Jack off. Craig's got the momentum, man. I mean, this. Is, look at this. He's coming in with a raise again. 180,000 to go. Men with ace queen here. There might be some fireworks here. He is in the big blind. Adjusts his chips, sets his cards, gives him another peek. Oh. Makes a call. Might have three bet there, but it seemed like he was under a little bit of stress, uh, time crunch there. Mm -hmm. You heard the dealer there announce 10 seconds. Men asked for the raise amount, he got it, and then. Looked back at his chips and then ended up just throwing in the chips mm -hmm. to make the call. So maybe wanted to three bet, but didn't have the time to do it. Top pair here for men. He checks over to Craig with second pair. That's 180,000. So with men just calling pre flop, too, that. Craig probably doesn't think he has an ace in a hand. Men calls. Men calls. Mm 
Return, Return is the ace of hearts, hearts, giving men men three of a kind. This is really going to be hidden because, like you had said, maybe because of the time crunch, mm -hmm. he just called instead of three yes. betting, and now this is really well hidden. He checks again over to Craig, who likes okay. to check behind. Something doesn't feel right. River Ten of spades, spades on the river. Men checks, getting a little tricky still. 340,000. 340,000 340, is the bet from Craig. 10 seconds. Men, Men makes the call. Craig shows. King of Spades, Jack of Clubs. Oh, hey, Jesse. Yes. Oh, there you are. With spades. the end of that hand, we're going to be Queen bringing in Dave Farah and Jesse Sylvia. How are you guys? It's like a pretty big hand there for, for Men the Master. It is pretty big yeah, hand there really for nice Men the Master. It's a really nice spot either way. I could have eight ten. Well, wel welcome from Las Vegas. We're we're happy to have you guys. Uh, I I've enjoyed my time in the booth, but uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna leave it to the experts here. Uh, Another hand here, ten. Great, Jared. Right. First act, one hundred and eighty-five thousand. Eighty-five thousand. I had been both hold. Yeah. Well. Watch the sand play out. I'm gonna try to look up current chip counts or current at this time, so get a better idea of the dynamics of the I'm table. Looks like Craig is Craig barely long. short. Three players the Although he is peeling with the 7-6 suited out of the small blind, so probably not incredibly short. Although if he, if he was really short, it would be easier to play the hand after the flop, so. Just want to be said for peeling out of the small blind on a shorter stack. Three of diamonds, deuce of diamonds, check, check, over to Jared. And this is an interesting flop for Jerry. He could go either way with it. He'll probably continuation bet, but it's certainly the type of board where specifically tense with the 10 of diamonds. You check back, the diamond isn't so bad for you. And when your opponent has a jack, you don't want to be putting a lot of money in the pot. So, Also, uh, additionally, allows players to potentially bluff at a pot. They might have just folded on the flop. So that's always good. Except that one is completely fine. And Jake decides to just call with the nut flush draw, which is also. Oh, Check and the Queen of Clubs. Jake checks. Flush doesn't serve just yet, so good news for Jared Spence. And I imagine the club. Sorry. And I imagine his turn's gonna go check check now. Uh, Jared has. His hand is turned into the third pair, which is. And, and he still has the flush draw as backup, so it's a, a very good hand to just pocket the club. Three of the Nine of Hearts. Are gonna hold. And now, what's interesting here is this bluff with this hand. If he had something like these five with these diamonds, he would certainly bluff with that because it's a great hand to bluff with. But because he has that little bit of show on top of yeah, he decides to just check it. And I can't imagine that Jared isn't going to check back here, especially on the table. But if he goes for some really thin, well, pretty thin value, I'd be fairly Jake shows Ace of Diamonds, three of clubs. Especially when Jake's uh, quite expensive. Most of the 
And with that, Jared's going to take down the pot. So if you go to learnwpt.com, uh, the terms that you hear us using today, uh, you can find out what the, those mean. If you are more advanced in the game, you can learn uh, more advanced strategies from uh, Nick Binger and the other instructors that, that they have at LearnWPT. And I believe you get your first month for $5 if you sign up there. That's a nice deal. So go upgrade your game today, boys and girls. We're here at the Gardens Casino. This is the final table of the WPT Gardens Poker Festival main event. $565,000 up top, plus a Mercedes-Benz SLC Roadster. These six players come from a field of 584 entries and are guaranteed $115,000 right now. Pardon me, stumbling, stumbling over my own words. <laughs> It is quite a sight to see as soon as you walk into the Gardens Casino that Mercedes-Benz is right there in the lobby. It's a little tempting. If it's not there when we it finally get our tempting, winning. But I don't think we'd be able to fit it out those doors. <laughs> they have probably have some secret entrance around here. So I don't think we can just drive off. That's true. That's true. Jared and Saya take a flop here. Jack, 9-3, two clubs. Saya's out in front with top pair and a backdoor flush draw despite being dominated pre-flop. Jared is the one who's reaching for chips. Jared bets 105,000 and Saya makes the call. Turn card is the six of spades. is the bet from Jared. Sia makes the call. Five of spades on the river. This pot is at 910,000. You see the action there on your screen leading up to this river. Jared checks. Jared checks. Saya checks. And Saya Jared shows Queen of Hearts, seven of clubs. Saya's going to take it down with a pair of jacks. This event had a buy-in of $5,000, attracted 584 entries, with the addition of two. These players are playing for $565,000 up top, plus a Mercedes-Benz SLC Roadster. They're guaranteed $115,000 right now. And speaking of Craig, here he is with pocket sevens. Hockey sticks. Very good. All in. He moves all in for 1.6 million. Most likely getting a Jared call Jared has here. ace king. Question is, will they call or try to isolate? 1.69. Jared has ace
and he chooses isolate. Here, all in. All in. Or try to isolate. We'll see what happens here as it comes around the corner. Craig is the player at risk here. Two sevens versus Jared's ace king. About as classic of a coin flip as you're going to get. Queen eight five flop. That's clean for Craig as he stays in the lead. Turn is the three of clubs. Craig maintains his lead. Rivers a ten of clubs, and Craig's going to double up. There you go. Little head nod from Craig. He's going to get himself off the short stack. Fairly sizable dent to a Jared stack there as well. So quite an impactful hand. 